What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make your NPC, enemy or AI look at the player basically at you while you're playing the game. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so first of all, I don't have a, you know, an AI to be here in standing so I'm going to go ahead and quickly just create one. So of course, if you already have created your AI or enemy, you can just skip this uh, step but let's go ahead and create a new blueprint class this will be type character bp ai to look let's go ahead and just open this up and now what i come to do is put the mesh to be for example money all right uh, there we go it's gonna be minus 89 and then minus 90 so it's looking perfectly great so now the thing that i have to do is create the the animation blueprint okay so if you of course if you have already created the animation blueprint and um, basically you can just uh, open your animation blueprint the, the one that we have so in my case i have to go here animation blueprint and select the sk mannequin skeleton abp underscore ai to look and let me open this up and for me i'm just gonna go ahead and place the idle animation that will go ahead and play in a loop uh, animation great and now i can just go here and assign it great so now i guess that here is where really the tutorial starts so what we have to do is go into the animation blueprint i'm going to go into the event graph so right over here in the uh, update animation we're going to go ahead and cast to the third person character and the object is going to be the get player uh, character so we're basically accessing our player character and they want to do is go ahead and get the mesh let's go down and then here it is and then we want to get basically the a socket uh, location and the socket location will be head so it has to be exactly spelled like you have it so in my case i can just go here into this button and search for head and indeed it is written like this just in lowercase so it has to be exact the bone name and now what I'm going to do is right click and promote this to a variable. And this will be the look at uh, pause. This will be basically the position that the AI will look at, which in our case will be the player's head. So now what we need to do is go into the ending graph. And we have to right click and add this node, which is called look at. And now we can just make some space and plug it in. You will see that it will create some nodes, which is, will just go from local to component. It's totally fine, it has to do that, but it is great. So you have to basically pretty much add it just before the output post, so it will override any other animations. So now what we have to do is select it and then select the bone to modify, which in our case we want to, you know, turn the head so it will be the head. And then the last thing that we have to do is go into the look at location and then go ahead and expose this as a pin. So now we can just go get our look at pause and just drag it in. So now it will be assigned and we can leave the alpha at one. So now you will see that if we compile and save and press play, there we go. <laughs> the, the enemy will be looking at us. Of course, when we are in front of him, it looks good. But, you know, we want to go ahead and clamp his angle because we don't want to do, you know, what we're doing right now here, which is just turning his head like if it's, yeah. We don't want that. And also, it's very uh, on spot. It is, you know, we want to smooth out a bit the head's movement. So let's go back into the animation blueprint and let's select the look at node. And then what we need to do is go into the look at clamp. And for example, let's put yes, 55, around 55. And then the interpolation time is the uh, basically the time to smooth out a bit the uh, you know, vision turn. So we can just put, for example, three. So now you will see that when I uh, press play, you can see that now the AI will only be uh, going ahead and turning his head to be looking at that 50 feet, uh, 55 sorry angle. And you can see it follows me great, but when I'm behind him, it is completely perfect and normal. And then he has a smooth uh, turn, so it looks a bit better. When I jump, it follows my head. Everything is working as normal. So that's it, guys. If you found it so helpful, I really appreciate it. you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials as this one. So if you want to go ahead and check them out, go ahead, join my Discord server. And now, yes, with all I said, bye-bye.